Today in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you guys can install PC Manager for your Windows 11 or Windows 10. So let's get started. First, fire up your browser and here type PC Manager on Google. You need to click on the first result which is pcmanager.microsoft.com and you can just hit download button and it should open up the Microsoft Store for you. Then simply hit on get button. Now simply tap on yes. And it said start downloading the PC manager for your Windows 11. And now it's installing. Now you can see that we have installed it. So simply click and open. So here you can do everything as any cleaner app does. And this is free by Microsoft itself. So let's try with some boost. There we go. It's cleaning the temporary file. And also it's reducing the memory uses as you guys can see that. You can also check the process task. So with this help, you can end up something like widget and phone link, widget services and whichever is not necessary for you, just end up. And also you can check the health, like you can check health of this and click and proceed. But you are not able to do this because it should automatically start when your PC is being booted. So yeah. There is also an uh, option for you to deep clean. With deep clean, you can clean the prepress file, temporary file, and system cleanup as well. So just hit and proceed, and you can see that we have free up like 960 kilobyte on drive space. Sometimes you can also see the updates going on, and you can uh, do the deep clean. You can also hit the startup apps. You can basically do this on your talks manager as well, but it's giving you here as well. So let's go to protection. This is definitely using the Windows Defender. You can just go ahead and scan. As you guys can see that it's hitting up the uh, Defender itself. So I don't need it. I will just scan this. You can do the tax bar repair. If you have done any kind of uh, messy stuff, like you can just repair from here as well. With this application, you can also check the Windows update. You can see that. So we can update this. All right, guys, let's go to stories. So here you can do like uh, manage your downloaded files. So I have downloaded these files. If you think uh, the file is cluttered, then you can come here and delete them. And also you can do is scan for the larger file on the C drive. I have this file as thin uh, larger. As you guys can see, it's scanning the CapCut uh, folder. Uh, I think it's definitely a cache memory. Let's see how many results we will get. And while well, we can see guys, it found like 57 gigabyte large files. And you will need to cross check because you, you can't just delete blindly since it just scanned for the larger file. So you can go ahead and hit on this folder icon if you wanted to know where is this file located. So for this one, like 5 gigabyte, I just rendered this video on CapCut and it's stored here so i think it's definitely worth to delete them because i've already uploaded well also here is the uh, CapCut cache file as you guys can see that it just scanned that now you can open up this video or file that it just scanned for you you can see there are tons of video this is the cache file as you guys can see and it's not even like a all cache but it's a smart crop so let's scan this uh, the storage i think it i don't need them and you can see that it's eating like huge amount of storage so yeah i can just delete them blindly this one this folder so let's delete them and it's going to delete permanently because this is a very big file well there we go i've saved like 21 gigabyte of file uh storage size sorry and <laughs> right, now let's go back and check some other files if you can find it so with this tool you can get help uh, to find these files that is really big and you're not able to find so as you guys can see that CapCut was using a lot of storage for me um yeah so that's what i found and i saved like 20 gigabyte right away well you can also do rescan once again if you don't believe it and you can see that clearly that we have deleted the earlier file and, and these are the files that I will 
need right now so i will not delete them and yeah still it's founding like 30 gigabyte large file so you can also check the duplicate files if you think there is some duplicate file on a computer so as you guys can see that we have a duplicate file as well so now i can have a chance to delete them as you guys can see there are a lot of files that have been using uh, a lot of storage like this one for example it's 2.5 gigabyte you can simply delete them because it doesn't matter since it's the same file so let's delete them all right there we go and also there are some other video files and some uh, document file as well so yeah guys with this tool you can also scan duplicate file and it's really simple so you can also see the stores overview like on android phones these days or iphones you can see other it's adding like 7 gigabyte and recycle bin is filled up with 5.9 gigabyte and uh, yeah you can see almost but yeah it's still on scanning in progress after scanning has been done it should show you the accurate and exact amount of uh, storage overview and you have the idea of the storage it's been used by your computer with some messy files and application that you can been using so well now let's close this one let's go to another which is store sense i think this is uh, the built-in of the windows 11 yeah there you go you can run this storage sense and as you guys can see that it's also able to um free up the space like four megabyte and list uh, since we have already cleaned the deep clean with this pc manager it's not able to find a lot of uh clutter file so it's just able to just free up the four megabyte well, it's about storage sense that's been built in with uh, Windows 11. You can do it manually as well. So let's go to apps. There's a process management. We have already seen this. And you can also uninstall apps directly from this application, which is really good. So you can sort this by size. And you can see, guys, which application is using big file size. For me, it's CapCut since this is a video editor, it will definitely use it. And also you can see that I have other files as well, which is taking a lot of um, storage. So if you find any kind of a bad application that I've been using and you wanted to just destroy, just go ahead and click on this uninstall and it's going to destroy that. Or you can just simply drag an app here if you wanted to uninstall. So let's go ahead and try restore and it shows nothing for me so on setting you can see uh you can start pc manager automatically when you boot up your windows so i don't want this application to be startup uh boot up i will just do like normal i would like to uh, manually operate this application more than starting this automatically so i just turn off so if you wanted to Use this application when you guys boot up you can just click on this and it should work for you so yeah this is it guys this is all about the pc manager and it's that simple to install and you can use this application as i have shown you so thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video peace